Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mark Sylvester. I'm the CEO of Intro Networks, and we're so excited about this year's Connected Educators Month. And uh, we're going to kick off today with a discussion about Ed Connector. And I'm going to presume that you know about it because we did announce this webinar through the Ed Connector community. I'm going to take you through, we'll probably do about 15 minutes of um, kind of talk about some behind the scenes things with Ed Connector and then uh, open it up for questions. Uh, just a little bit of housekeeping on your go to webinar control panel. There is a questions area. So if you go and um, why don't you go type in that question area right now and just say hello or um, tell us or, or you can use the chat area as well. Um, it is just uh, me today. So I'm going to be managing the questions and uh, answers as we go out. So hi, Christy. How are you? Um, perfect. That's exactly how it works. You go in and, and type something. So uh, is everybody excited about Connected Educator Month? This is going to be um, this going to be so much fun. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be a part of it. So let's start with um, what you're going to learn in, uh, in this this short session. Uh, I'm going to start off with why why you want to create an awesome profile, how to search and be found. This is something that I find uh, people have a little bit of challenge with, so we're going to show you how to do that. How to explore the profile of people that you have found, and then the various different ways to view your connections. So I, I hope that you found that the creating a profile was pretty easy. Um, just how you get the most out of the system is um, eh, there's a little bit of exploring to do. So hopefully this will they'll shortcut it and we'll um, give you some tools that help you make the most out of it. So why, why did we create Ed Connector? This is our third year of doing it. This is a private community. Uh, this is really the place where you're gonna go to meet people and actually find resources throughout the year. There's another new community uh, that's being run that's got book clubs and forum discussions and those kinds of things. Uh, and you want to go do that over there. But here is where you're really going to want to um, meet people uh, on a kind of more specific level. So let's start with creating an awesome profile. So when, when you logged in, the first thing you did was you, you had to actually go in and create a profile. And a couple of the interesting things about it by the way anytime you want to edit it again in the upper right of the screen uh, there's a little button i'll show you that when i get into the live part the other thing we did that's really interesting is the talk to me about so after you did your tags there was a, a little question that said talk to me about and you're kind of wondering what the heck was that all about and what we found was that there are some things that you really care about, that you're really passionate about, that are really important to you. And this can be used by other people to start a conversation with you. And as we're trying to build new relationships, build our personal learning networks, knowing what another person is most passionate about is a very great place to start. The other piece is that with the tags, remember this is where you went in and put your area of expertise and what you could help with, where, where you could use some help and support and what you were interested in. Where you moved those words up and down actually matters quite a bit. So it helps match you up to people. Uh, and when you're looking at other people's profiles, it helps you understand what's most important to them. The other thing that is uh, really powerful is, is pictures. So putting in pictures, it might be uh, of your class, it might be of an experiment you ran, it might be of a field trip or a workshop, anything that would help us better get to know you. That's it's really important, including make sure you put a picture of yourself up. Now, on searching and being found, there's an advanced search uh, capability in the upper left of the screen. And when that comes up, what you can do, and I'm going to go and show you live how to do all these things, but I want to kind of cement the principles first. You can select on anything you created in your profile. So any of the words, any of the questions that were asked, any of the geography. So if you're looking for someone specific within 50 miles of where you are that maybe you haven't met yet. Uh, 
Any of those things can be used to search in any combination of things, which is why you want to make sure you've put in as many words and answered as many questions as possible so that the chances of you being found by someone else are greatly improved. So you want to select those tags. You can hold the control key down, by the way, to select more than one. You can select as many as you want. What I like to do is select, search, select, search, select, search, and whittle the uh, results down to when I get maybe three or four people I want to reach out to. Click the fields button if you want to go in and look on things like zip codes or cities or states or anything like that. And then you could save the searches so you can come back to those searches uh, in the, the future. So as more people are joining, because this community grows, grows, has a nice big spike during October, I'm hoping that you will also tell your colleagues and help share uh, the power of Ed Connector as well as everything that's going on at Connected Educator Month. So once you've searched and found someone, you can select their pin or their name and I'll, sh I'll show you how to do that. When you pull up the card, you'll notice all the tags that they selected. Now, remember I told you that where you place the word was important? Well, notice these words are in a ranked order from top to bottom. So we see that Cheryl is a chief information officer and an edupreneur. Down at the bottom though, you see there's words in color. Those are words that we have in common. So that might be a great place for me to, um, if I want to uh, connect with um, Cheryl, click the send message button. I might want to talk to her about adventure and pets. But notice at the top there, it says, talk to me about. Those are the words she's most, so she says, talk to me about organizational connected change. That's really interesting. I'm not exactly sure what those three mean, three words together mean, but that might be a great place to start or marginalized populations. So you could see how marginalized populations wasn't something she could pick, but she put it up there because that's important to her. So really take a look. Not everybody fills out the talk to me about because they don't really understand how important it is, but now, now you do. The color, remember, is, and again, in rank order. So she says she could help with collaboration community development, as can I which means that might be another place where we have a conversation. Please, please put a picture in there. It helps humanize uh, this experience and uh, put, put something fun in there uh, so people get to know just another side of you. You can send a message or you can invite them to a meeting by clicking one of the buttons at the bottom. So there's several ways to view all of your connections. Um, there's the pin view. That's the one that we start off with. And the list view, so if you want a little more organized way of looking at things, just so you can search and sort that way. There's the map view, so if you're looking for people within a particular area. And then there's the tag view, which gives us a, a really interesting way to um, kind of see what a whole group of people have in common. And by looking at that way of vis that visualization, you get some ideas on who you might want to reach out to as well. So over on the left side of Ed Connector is the main navigation. So the search is in the upper left, so you can click on that. Uh, you can click and open up any of the, the groups or forums or any of those things uh, over on the left as well. And then in the upper right, you can click Edit Profile to edit your profile. So everything is, is very easy to, uh, to find. So um, as we're going forward through the month, what you can do actually anytime down in the lower part of the screen it says contact us or suggestions just click on that that'll drop our group a note and we can answer your questions uh, there are people here all the time uh, to do that we also have plenty of tutorials up on our youtube channel uh, over at intro networks so with that what i'm going to do now is i'm going to switch over to uh, the site. So um, when when we log in, the first thing that happens is we we see the uh, the profile page. So if this is your first time in, we're going to need to know a little bit about you so we can determine where to place your pin. This is very easy uh, to manipulate. Remember I was showing you the tags. Well, 
if I'm looking here at my interests, let's just go over here. I go down through this list. I'm actually um, very, hmm, I'm, having, I'm looking, there's so many interesting things here, but I'm really interested in collaboration. So I'm going to click that word and I'm going to drag it to the box above. And where I place it, as I said, was uh, very important uh, for that matching. So I'll click that. I'll hit next. And what happens is actually saves it and changes my matches uh, on the fly. There's the talk to me about. And then we've got a, a few interesting uh, free text questions, meaning you can go in and type in what you want. Again, another great way to learn about people. And then there's some drop downs that um, will help. Like if I'm looking for people who value sense of humor, this might be a great search term to look for. Again, a reason why you would want to make sure you create a really robust profile so that you help um, others learn more about you. Put in a picture. I put in my Twitter, my LinkedIn. I'm a, a food guy, so I've got my food blog in there, uh, and then pictures and photos. When that's done, and you can get back to that anytime you want. So if it's been um, a while since you um, created your profile, uh, you want to maybe go back and look at it again and uh, make some edits. So now what we've done here with the visualization is all of the pins colors correspond to a different type. And so you select this type uh, when you first logged in. So I wanted to show you, uh, let's just do that search real quickly. So I'll click on advanced search. So let's say I'm looking for um, uh, ninth through 12th grade teachers. Let's just just click one and hit search. So we, we do that first. And it's going to show us um, there's 451 of those teachers. And so let's let's add a little bit more to that because I would I'm looking for ones who um, would like help with blogging because we've actually been on a blogging challenge for the last eight weeks. So it'd be interesting to talk with those people. And let's go back down and look at collaboration. So we'll select that as well and hit search. So you see we fit three different things. Ah, this is this is what I like to see when there's you know 16 people out of 2,500 teachers in there. Uh, this is a little easier for me to um, work with. Okay, so I'm at the center. So if someone clicks on my pin, this is what they're going to see. They're going to see all of my words. They're going to see how to contact me. They're going to see my networks. They're going to see how I answered all of the questions. They're going to see my pictures. If anybody had uh, given me a comment, they could the comment would go right here on the card. They also see my activity. So any forum topics that I had entered or any forum replies, those are all there as well. Again, all towards helping you learn more about that person. Well, in this case, it's not about me. It's about uh, who uh, are ninth to 12th grade teachers who uh, could use some help in blogging and enjoy collaboration. So this pin that's really quite close to me is uh, Michael. And if I click on Michael's card, what I'm going to see are he did a really good job of filling out his profile. And look at this. He's, he, he does a lot of teaching. He's a tech integration specialist. And I'm curious where that is. Um, so he's in Hawaii. That was my guess. And I can see how he answered all these questions. This is probably the most interesting thing to me is, is how much we learn about people and how quickly it is that we can learn about them. So if I want, I could send Michael a message just by clicking there, type it in, hit send, and then he's going to go ahead and get that message and reply to me. And this that all happens in email, so it's real easy. You don't have to log back into the system uh, to do that. So that's how you do search, how you do the intro card. Let's go back to search again. And you could see if I wanted to see, just show me people within 100 miles of me, I could have done that as well. Or I could say, let's go in and look for some of the ways that people answered questions. So if we look in here and we say the way children learn best is, or let's see the uh, the quality I value most in colleagues. I think we were talking about humor. So of all of those people, let's add sense of humor and see what we get. We may not get anything. Oh, we didn't. So 
Uh, this this what's great about system is you actually see that. So let's see maybe collaboration instead. We'll search on that because I got to pick one. Ah, perfect. So let's look at um, finally look at the other ways to view the information. So there are six people. By the way, another tip is if you wanted to send these six people to a colleague and say, I think these we should invite these people. Uh, to a conversation, whatever it is you want, click copy link to search. And now you can copy that and send that to another member of Ed Connector. They can go in and see exactly what you see, those people. So here are, uh, this is Don and Jody and Kelly, and I can click on any one of these pins again to see that person. Another little tip, this little arrow up here, if I click that arrow, that lets me toggle back and forth between a whole bunch of cards. So if I'm kind of investigating this several people at the same time, it's really easy to do that. So that's the list view. By the way, you can sort just by clicking. So if you want to sort alphabetically or sort by city or things like that, you could do that. Then there's the map view. So the map view, this is interesting. It looks like there's someone down here in uh, New Zealand, and there's someone, it looks like, maybe in uh, the Midwest, possibly in Chicago. We can zoom in on that easily enough. Looks like there's someone in Canada. I'm down here. That looks like there's someone, that's the Lake Havasu person, and then someone up in the Seattle area. So it's this is great. What I'm gonna show you something interesting now. I'm, oh, the last one is the, the tags. So we know that there's up to 40 words selected for each person. And Yet, I don't want to go through and look at all of the words that everybody selected. So of these six people, these are the things that they have in common. So most of them are, uh, we, you know, we said, you know, uh, what uh, level of teacher are you? There's the blogging. But look at the other things. There's, um, they'd like help with flipped education. They um, can help with authentic formative assessments. Um, as the words get smaller, they're, they're less important, but um, they're still there nonetheless. There's collaboration. So again, you can easily start to get a sense of this particular group, and this tag cloud changes every time you do a search. So I'm going to go back to the map view because I was pretty excited um, just to see how many people are in here. So I'm going to, um, let me close this, I'm just going to reset the search. And by resetting the search, it's now going to show me um, the top thousand people that I have matches with. We only show a thousand at a time, but look at that. And you, by the way, you can collapse the legend by doing this. And there are a lot of people in this network, and I was most uh, intrigued by where they are. They're all literally all over the world. So there's a no. No reason for you to not reach out and, and meet someone from South Africa or meet someone from Russia, meet someone from all over the world. So what I thought I would do is just uh, on, I'm going to be doing these webinars every Wednesday morning so you can tell your colleagues. We'll also uh, be posting the recording of this. But I thought I'd spend the last um, uh, eight or nine minutes answering uh, questions that you might have. And uh, why don't we start? So just go into the question area, type in a question, and then I will do my best to answer it. Who's going to start? So I'll ask a question, and let's see if... Um, was this news, the things that you learned here, were these things that you had already discovered, or did this help you learn more about the Ed Connector network? Okay, Christy. So, so Christy says, um, I knew mostly all of this. Great. Good. So, um, Christy, I'm curious, have you used the network to reach out to people and did that work for you pretty well? Were you able to use it to, because the next thing you want to do is you might have a, something you're looking into or you want some help on a problem or you've got someone, 
you know, you just want to make a new friend out there who's doing similar things to you. Um, did that work for you? Okay, good. So not yet. I'm looking this month to dive into more of the platform. Oh, great. That's fantastic, Christy. So there are, there are so many things to do uh, this month. I'm not sure how any teaching is going to get done. I think it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty fun what's happening uh, all month long and all of the events. I know that there's last year there were more than a thousand events, uh, which was pretty crazy and uh, very exciting for everyone. So um, there's there's not a lot of questions, which is great. Um, so uh, I'm going to sign off. Remember that you can come down here and click the uh, contact us, and uh, if you've got a question at any time, that's a real easy way to uh, get a hold of us. The other thing is is that um, I interviewed uh, Marshall Connolly, who's one of the co-organizers of the Connected Educators program. I did a podcast with him, and I'm, uh, I posted that out last week. It is a fantastic, fantastic 45-minute conversation. We talked at length about uh, the overall project, so uh, you might want to. Uh, actually, I'm going to post a link to that up in the the top up here in the, the dashboard area. So thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy Connected Educators Month. This is Mark Sylvester uh, from Intro Networks. Thank you so much.